It may take weeks to get this diagnosed, but this is the most effective way to diagnose ringworm. Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're going to talk about ringworm on cats and dogs. Ringworm is actually a fungus, and there's a handful of different species we deal with, but ringworm presents pretty similar on both cats and dogs. Ringworm will usually cause a circular lesion uh, anywhere in the body. We see it a lot on the face. When you look at your cat or your dog, you're looking for a circular region of fur loss. Usually the ringworm will grow small and get bigger, and as it radiates out, the inner portion has no fur because the ringworm has already been there and damaged the hair follicles. As it moves farther out, that's where most of your live ringworm is as it continues to progress and thrive on the cat or the dog. The fur on the edges can be pulled out really easily because the ringworm is there and it's damaging the hair follicles where the hair is growing from. So usually I will grab that fur and it just kind of sloughs right out. And yes, people can definitely get ringworm from cats and dogs. So when you go into the veterinary office, you know, give them a heads up and they may actually wear gloves to make sure they don't get anything on their skin too. How do we go about diagnosing ringworm in the cat or dog? You know, we can do a, a couple different things in house, but probably the most effective, and it is the most effective way, is to culture it. By doing a fungal culture, we can grow the ringworm, find out what species it is, and confirm it. It may take weeks to get this diagnosed, but this is the most effective way to diagnose ringworm. A veterinarian may start a topical or an oral, depending on how serious things are. They may even do some kind of bath, like a lime dip, to help treat the ringworm too. So there's a handful of options medically, treatment-wise, we can pick from. And we may have to do this while we're waiting to get our results back, which sounds kind of crazy, we don't know 100%, but if we're confident, we should start treating it, and we want to know what it is to make sure we're not missing something. If it comes back and there's no ringworm, that's great. Most of our topicals are actually quite safe. So a veterinarian tends to pick a topical medication first. If they're really confident and it's a really bad infection, they may do an oral too, and that's okay.